children now i am going to tell you one of the best poem which is known as blessed is my birth it is written by ravindranath tagore it describes the importance of the earth and it tells us how we should show our gratitude towards the earth the poem goes like this blessed am i that i am born to this land and that i had the luck to love her what care i if queenly treasure is not in a store but precious enough is for me the living wealth of her love it means through this poem the poet says that he is blessed for his birth because he is lucky enough to have this earth since he has taken the birth on this earth he could love her here her means land he imagines and he asks the questions to himself if the earth being a mother if she has not given enough wealth or the place to live for the human being what one human being could think about that but he says let me show my gratitude to her he says that it is enough that she has given the wealth in terms of living he says he is very thankful to the earth because earth has given him an opportunity to live on this children through the ravindranath tagore's poem we got to know that we should be thankful to the earth for giving such an opportunity to live here today i will be teaching you the prose is a unit 7th and this is a prose the will of sacrifice this prose is all about the great freedom fighter bhagat singh look at the first paragraph children Bhagat Singh was born on September 27th in in the year of 1907 in Khatkar Kalan Punjab in British India his grandfather Arjan Singh father Kishan Singh and uncle Ajit Singh were all active in the freedom struggle so he was born in the family where he got complete influenced by them because all of them his father and his uncle everybody got involved and they were very active in the freedom struggle in the second paragraph young bhagat singh came in contact with some well known political leaders like lala lajpat rai and was bihari bose while studying at the local dav school in lahore in 1916 in response to mahatma gandhi's call for non cooperation against british rule in 1921 Bhagat Singh left his school. Here what happens when he was young he came in contact with many political leaders where he was influenced more and more and he came in contact with many political leaders especially with Mahatma Gandhi ji and it was in the year of 1916 and Mahatma Gandhi ji called him to join the freedom struggle. and in response to his freedom call so what he did he children in the second paragraph we learn about how bhagat singh left his school and after that how he became more influenced through many revolutionary activities here you are going to learn about when he left his lahore school and he joined the national school and it was in the lahore and especially this national school which was in the lahore it was very popular for revolutionary activities it was a center for the revolutionary activities here he came in contact with the many revolutionaries such as bhagavati charan sukadev and others and later he became a member of the hindustan republican association and it was formed by the revolutionaries of uttar pradesh and there he started his revolutionary activities 
and in the third paragraph we are going to learn that how british people treated revolutionaries they called them terrorist because revolutionaries always they were against towards the activities done by the british people because british rule was always unjust and they were very cruel in giving the justice and therefore always they used to have some kind of a legal actions against indian people so now revolutionaries they thought in a such a way that violence is the only weapon so we can overthrow the foreigners so what they did they just started using the bombs and the guns against the british and they later they started robbing their establishments also so the revolutionaries activities completely differ from the activities which was taken by mahatma gandhi ji in the fourth paragraph you are going to learn that bhagat singh is even remembered today not only as a bold revolutionary figure but also as a great thinker and why i am saying you why here you are going to learn that bhagat singh is not only remembered as a bold revolutionary figure because when we remember about him we think he's only was working for the revolutionary activities but instead in this paragraph you are going to learn that he was a great thinker because always used to think that how we could improve the society by removing the other kind of activities which is conducted by the british people he gave more concentration on land labor and capital he started generating an awareness with the people so what he did to create an awareness with the people he started giving the publishment in the letters pamphlets and the articles so many people started reading that and they were influenced by the bhagat singh and in the fifth paragraph you are going to learn that there was one incident which changed the entire life thinking style on bhagat singh so here bhagat singh is completely changed when he came to know that there was a brutal attack by the police on veteran freedom fighter lala lajapata rai and it was an activity on anti british procession and when he was brutally attacked lala lajapata rai he was died in the year of 1928 on november 17th and it was in lahore bhagat singh later he determined himself to take a revenge for the death who caused lala lajapata rai so later he thought of taking an revenge so he went into the assembly where there was a session was going on so he threw the bombs and none of them got hurt but the noise that it made it created an awareness with the people that people could react to british government through these activities and not only that he shot one inspector deputy inspector general scott for killing lala lajapata rai so this kind of an activities made british people children in the sixth paragraph you will come to know how bhagat singh was given punishment by the british people british people they got to know very clearly that bhagat singh is being a revolutionary fire brand and he, they wanted to give him a full stop so they announced him with a word a death sentence but the death sentence did not did not determine who was bhagat singh being in a prison he wrote two letters to one of his brother and to his fellow freedom fighters and he proved that the value of man lies not in what he is capable of receiving but it lies what he is capable of giving and he proved that he was the greatest freedom fighter children there are few questions let me give an answer for those questions listen very carefully
द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वो एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल फ्रॉम भगत सिंह फैमिली द आंसर इज फ्रॉम भगत सिंह फैमिली इज ग्रैंड फादर अर्जन सिंह फादर किशन सिंह एंड इज अंकल अजित सिंह पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज नेम द पोलिटिकल लीडर्स हु आर इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद भगत सिंह वेन ही वॉज इन डी ए वी स्कूल इन लाहौर द आंसर इज वेन ही वॉज इन डी ए वी स्कूल इन लाहौर ई केम इन पोलिटिकल कॉन्टैक्ट विद द लीडर्स नेम्ड लाला लजपत राय एंड राज बिहारी बोस द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डिड भगत सिंह रेस्पॉन्ड टू गांधी जी स्कॉल आंसर इज In response to Gandhiji's call, Bhagat Singh left his Lahore school and joined National School at Lahore. The fourth one, where did Bhagat Singh come in contact with Bhagavati Charan and Sukhdev? The answer is Bhagat Singh came in contact with Bhagavati Charan and Sukhdev in National School at Lahore. Fifth one, why is Bhagat Singh remembered even today? Answer is Bhagat Singh is remembered even today because he steeped in the best traditions of socialistic thought. The sixth question: Who did Bhagat Singh wanted to take revenge on, and why? Bhagat Singh wanted to take revenge on the British officer because the British officer was responsible for killing Lala Lajpat Rai. The seventh one: According to Bhagat Singh, where does the value of man lies? Answer is according to Bhagat Singh the value of man lies in what he is capable of giving children i will give you the